Hello everyone, I'm Sophie and I'm currently at Kachara Forest Retreat, Bentong, Malaysia. And I'll be reading from Rinpoche's blog. Uh, blog uh, the blog post is Love Without Agenda. And I'll be doing part 18. And my guru is um, His Eminence the 25th, Sam Toku Rinpoche. And as usual, I will go to a picture to share with you before I start reading. And here you go. This is um, Rinpoche on the beach in, um, if I'm not wrong, it should be Trigano. You see, wherever he goes, Rinpoche is always um, have the Dharma on his mind. Right. Love Without Agenda, Part 18. No Lama will ever dedicate any dedication for their self or achievements for their self-gain. No Lama. Every Lama, after every Dharma talk, every Dharma action, every Dharma day, every Dharma session, will dedicate it for others. Why? That is what a Lama's life is about. It's not in just beautiful words. If you attended talk, today's talk and you've heard this, let other people know. Sam Rinpoche dedicates his merits to all of you. That your mind please transform. That your actions please transform. Please think about others more than yourself. Please put your reputation on the line. Please look bad if it benefits other, another, pe sorry, another person. Please use methods that you are not used to to help another person. Please. Why? That's the only way to leave any unhappiness you have in your mind, and it's much more difficult. It is much more difficult, but the result will be lasting and permanent. Is this an appeal? Yes. Is it a request? Yes. Is it a dedication? Yes. The rest of your lives, commit to spiritual practice and transformation and dedication to others. How do you do that? If you are good at complaining, don't complain. If you are good at anger, don't get angry. Control yourself. If you are lazy to push yourself, push yourself. If you don't commit, commit yourself. Whatever you find difficult, remember my dedication. Transform that difficulty through you. May none of you ever take rebirth in a horrible situation. Horrible. May you change your destiny. I can't change it for you, but I can give you the teachings. I can't take your problems away, but I can share you with you Lord Buddha's methods to alleviate them long term. If you are lazy, face it. If you are manipulative, face it. If you are stingy, Face it. If you have a big ego, face it. If you always run away and escape, face it. How do you face it? Don't do it. I dedicate to this and I'm not trying to criticize you. I dedicate it for this. Hence, always I recite this. Gewa di nyududa, lama sangyo drione, drewa chikya malupa, dei sala gopasho. May sentient beings reach the Guru Buddha state of enlightenment. Hence, that's why I'm explaining this to you. So the thousands of hours I have taught, the 42 years of my life, I'm 42, that I've given to the Dharma, the many years I have slept on the street, even to attend Raja Yogini's teachings when I was very young, when I was in 12, 13 I got slept for, I got beaten up for, and after Raja Yogini's teachings, I left my home immediately because I was not allowed to stay home anymore since I wanted to practice the Dharma. I was disowned. I never saw my mother and father ever again after I left. That was their wish. That is the sacrifice I went through. I worked three jobs. I worked very hard in America to support myself, to stay in the Dharma Center. I worked very, very hard. 
and the reason was to stay in the Dharma Center. I gave up everything in America at 22, 23, to go to India, to become a monk. I stayed in the monastery starving to death, studying with my teachers. I was forced to go and teach. I wasn't allowed to go into retreat. I have not been able to work for my own sustenance. There were many times in Malaysia, many times I had no money. I had very little people to support and help me. There were many times I had nothing. That, if I didn't work for the Dharma, I would have something, inverted commas. And that the work that I put towards here by building a center, raising funds, making sponsors happy, begging, asking, talking, convincing, the thousands of hours I spent out of the limelight, out of the throne, behind the scenes, in my private house, in my private ladrang, in Damekang, the thousands of hours that I spent with people individually, and I mean thousands, and the thousands of hours of retreats I have done, and the daily practices I have done, and offering and the generosity of saving my students, helping financially, so many ways, so many years of helping my students, all that must mean something. It must mean something. All my suffering and problems, sufferings, inverted commas, it cannot be wasted. So I dedicate it. I really do. I dedicate it to everyone. Sorry. I dedicate it that everyone may be liberated. First step, to transform your mind. Transform your thoughts. Repay the kindness of the people around you in the real way. Repay the kindness of the people around you in the real way. Please listen to me the real way. Don't give up. Push. Make the Dharma grow from compassion, not bias. Follow your lineage. Follow your teacher. Follow your center loyally, not from bias. From focus of one path, I dedicate it for that. I truly do. I can't dedicate it for anything else because if I dedicate it for myself, all that would have been wasted. If I dedicate it for everyone else, it would not be wasted. I will tell you why. Because that's the qualities we need to achieve and have to become a Buddha. So how can I dedicate opposite the quality of a Buddha? I must dedicate it in accordance with the path of the Buddha to become a Buddha. Cause resemble result. Result resemble cause. Ying guo. So like that, there's no other way I can dedicate it if I am smart. And it's, it's less courage to dedicate it for yourself. It's more courage to dedicate for others. No, actually it's more courage to dedicate it for others and less courage to dedicate it for yourself. Why? If you dedicate for others, the results takes longer, but the results is permanent. When you dedicate it for yourself, the result is quick, but it's not permanent, and it gets taken away. Don't we want permanency? Isn't the noble truth talking about impermanence, and when things change, we suffer? I mean every word I say. Time is short. Life is short. And with that, I end the session for today. I do hope that you will contemplate on what Rinpoche says and how important it is that we actually do feel grateful and keep that in mind so that whatever things we do, we are doing out of our compassion and I mean out of um, being grateful to others as well. And all the actions that we do, we dedicate to others so that it's not wasted in dedicating it to ourselves. And as Rinpoche said, it is harder you know, to do things for others 
but it's permanent. It's more permanent in that way, and it's and it's what Buddha has done, you know, in um, doing things for others, always having the compassion for others. Okay, um, I'll end this session with the completion dedication in English. There you go. May the precious body mine, where it is not born, arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. May the precious emptiness, where it is not born, arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. May this merit accumulated by myself and others beneficially serve all sentient beings and the Buddha Dharma, and especially may the essential teachings of the unerring Master Tsongkhapa become clear and enduring. In all my rebirths, may I not be parted from perfect gurus. Let me enjoy the abundance of the Dharma, perfecting the qualities, stages, and paths. May I quickly attain the rank of Vajanara Buddha. By this virtue, may I quickly realize Guru Buddhahood and transfer each sentient being into the enlightened state. May all conditive conditions arise and all obstacles be pacified in order to increase infinitely the doctrine of the spiritual king, Tsongkhapa. By the merit of the three times of myself and others, may the doctrine of Lama Tsongkhapa blaze forever. At dawn or dusk, at night or midday, may the three jewels grant us their blessing. May they help us to achieve all realizations and sprinkle the paths of our lives with various signs of auspiciousness. May the holy teachers have long lives. May the enlightened activities be fully displayed in the ten directions. And may the brightness of the teachings of Lama Tsongkhapa continuously dissipate in sorry, dissipate the veil of darkness covering the beings of the three realms. In this land encircled by snow mountains, source of every benefit and joy, may Lord Tenzin Gyatso Cherenzi remain in this life until samsara's end. Whom grant me here and now appropriate attainments without exception, grant increase of the entourage, teachings and wealth, O mighty Shukdan. Thank you for sharing your time with me and I do hope that you join me again for my next session. See you. Bye-bye.